It is not my day to not get hurt. <sighs> hey guys, okay. Today, I, I keep getting hurt and it's not a good time. Today we're doing a Shop My Stash number five. Um, so this is what I'd like to think is an exciting week. Um, lots of new products. They are more project pans, however, some of them are, some of them aren't. However, lots of new stuff. So I've been using up a lot of products, thank, thank goodness. Um, and it's a lot of new stuff that we've got this week. So hopefully it'll be better than going through the same products over and over and over again. And now some of them are of course repeats and those products I'm not really going to talk about today. Um, the products that are the exact same as last week, I will just revert you to that video which I will link it down below and put them here somewhere um, in case you're interested because I don't want to talk about, this is going to be like the third shot my sash that I'd be talking about those and I don't want to do that. So. We've got some stuff. We've got some stuff in Project Pans. We've got a nice little pile of stuff here that is just from the random number generator. And we are going to go. I'm thinking about doing maybe my next one, like live reactions, like doing the random number generator in front of the camera. Um, Cause sometimes I get disappointed. If like I had a specific product in mind, I don't know. Okay, so really quick before we begin that though, I wanted to ask you guys, I have this idea as either a really good idea or it's a really bad idea and I want your guys' opinion on it. So I'm debating doing like a no buy, okay, to experience a no buy. I've got a lot of makeup, I'm using up a lot. I'd be interested to see if I did like a six month no buy or something like that, uh, a five month, a, a year long, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I don't even know what I'm going to do this. This is probably a terrible idea. but. I'm debating doing that and then kind of like talking about my experience as a makeup porter, how a no buy goes for me. My concern, and like I would make videos about the whole process and everything, I don't know why my armature is so bad. My concern is that I don't think I'm emotionally ready to like give up my subscription boxes. So my thought process was that I could stop buying things, but then continue getting my subscription boxes, but then just not open any of them until the no buy was over. So in addition to the no buy videos, you'd also have, hey, this is six months worth of the subscription boxes that I get. How overwhelming is this now? It's a lot when you put it all together. I don't know, is that like, like, obviously that's not really following the rules of a no-buy, but if I don't touch anything, you know, and then maybe that would give me, like, the overwhelmingness that I need to maybe cancel some. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts on that is. A little mini-series with some little bonus footage at the end there about um, just how many products you get in subscription boxes over a six-month period of time all together. Let me know what your thoughts are. I know that we get a lot of eyeshadow palettes in subscription boxes, and I feel like six months' worth would be a lot more shocking than to one month's worth like I normally show. Let me know down below what your thoughts are um, and, and don't be afraid to tell me that it's a terrible idea because I'm pretty sure that it is. I've just been mulling it over for a while now and I figured I would I would just go ahead and ask. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna start with the things that are not changing at all. Um, I feel like I've added a couple of mascaras in here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dump this whole thing out. This is, this is the basket after I've taken stuff out of it and I have not put it. That was probably one of my worst ideas ever. Things that are not changing at all. My, um, what is this? My toner, which I talked about last video. Cream eyeshadows from ColourPop that I talked about last video. My bronzers. Still working on these two. I will say, I finally hit pan in the Wonder Beauty one. I'm very excited about that. These lippies from last time, they're all staying the same. My highlights also staying the same. However, exciting news. I've hit pan in both of the highlights that I'm using, so I'm very excited about that. What else has not changed? Um, my cream highlight, although this is, we're going to come back to that actually, we're going to come back to that. My blush has not changed, still haven't hit pan. My cream blush has not changed, except the plastic piece is starting to fall down, so. My eyeliner has not changed, neither has my brow pencil, I'm keeping my brow pencil because this is now in a project pan. What are you going to do? Um, perfume has not changed. My Pan That palette has not changed, except I have completely used up two shades, and I've hit pan in three other ones. So I feel like I'm doing pretty damn well with that. My lippy has not changed. 
I'm still using this moisturizer. I'm actually using this one in conjunction um, with the La Paris Cellular Swiss Ice Crystal Cream, which is in a project pan. So I'm kind of using both of those right now. Um, what else? I'm pretty sure that's actually it. Oh, these two mists, the setting spray, and then the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I'm still using these because I'm trying to use them up. Okay. I feel like that's all that hasn't changed. So let's start talking about the things that have. And now that we've gotten through all of that, um, I'm going to start off with primer. I have, oh, and I added this into it. This is the Leilani Aloha Ambrosia Morning Moisture Elixir. If you're supposed to put this on before makeup, it's a skincare product. Figured I'd go ahead and give that a try. I've only used it a couple days so far, but I freaking love it. It's so good. I feel like y'all are so far away. I'm trying to figure out like the easiest way to do this. So let's start with primer. Uh, this, a couple of the primers have stayed the same. I think this is the one that I talked about last week um, that I added in the Smashbox Photo Fish Finish Love Ritual Primer Water. And then I was also using the NYX Honey Do Me Up. Um, but I added in a couple of other primers that are in project pans I started a couple of new project pans and I'm considering doing like a video on YouTube about all the project pans that I currently do on Instagram only because I know some of you guys don't have Instagram and I feel like that would be a little bit more all-inclusive um, so also let me know down below what you think about that but the milk hydro grip primer this is a little mini this is currently in a project pan so I'm trying to use this up there's like one use left in this and then I'll switch back to one of these little guys so that's going well um, okay, so for color corrector, I finished that Urban Decay Naked Skin color corrector in pink, four fifty shades of pink. I'm so excited. Um, this is currently in a project pan. <laughs> I have got to like slow my roll on these project pans because they are just, woo! I'm doing so many of them that it's getting confusing. But this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in Too Light. Um, I've used this so much that the writing is coming off of the packaging. I freaking love it though. I actually just had to take out the stopper today. Hopefully that means good things. Right now it's a big goopy ass mess, but I'm excited. I really like, this is one of my holy grail products. So hopefully that means uh, good things for me. Okay, foundation. I was using the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation in Fair. Honestly, I really like this foundation. It's what I'm wearing today. However, the packaging of this sucks. I hate the fact that it's a wand, but like I don't know if it's because of like the stopper or like what, but every time you like pull it out, like little droplets of foundation go everywhere. Maybe I'm too aggressive. I don't know. I really loved this like on my skin, but I hate the packaging, um, but I am going to keep it. I'm going to continue using it at some point when it gets pulled up again. Uh, it is really nice though. And I feel like this is 1.01 fluid ounces and I don't know how much I've used of this, but I feel like it's more than that. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Um, but I am going to replace that with the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Youth, Boost, Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation in Too Fair. I don't know how much is left in this. I don't think it's very much. I've used the crap out of this. I have finished off a lot of foundations this year. If I can finish off another one, I'd be super, super stoked about that. So hopefully that'll be good. Hopefully. I don't know. I really like this foundation too though, so I'm excited to get to use that up a little bit more. Um, last week I was using the Tarte Shape Tape. <laughs> I went to go take the stopper out because it was getting almost impossible to use. And the stopper like broke off into little pieces and fell into the tube just straight in. So, um, I put that in my empties. I know it's not technically an empty, but I feel like I did what I could, you know? Um, so halfway through the two weeks, I switched over to the Laura Geller Baked Radiance Cream Concealer in Porcelain. This I have hit pan on. Oh. This is a really thick concealer and it's a little too yellow for me, so it's not my favorite, but I'm so close to finishing it that I plan on finishing it up at some point. Um, so that's really great. I do like it, I just feel like I could use like a different shade and it is a bit thick. Uh, but for the next two weeks I will be using the Catrice Camouflage Cream in 010 Ivory, which honestly there's like a huge ass dip in this one too. I'm thinking I'm pretty close, this is so deep of a little product, I'm thinking I'm pretty close to hitting pan, it would be awesome if I could hit pan. I really also need to do a video on all of the products that I currently have pan on in my collection because... I feel like it's a decent amount. Anyways, this is a really good concealer though. I've obviously used this a lot. I remember liking it. We'll have to see. The Balance Me 100% Wonder Eye Cream, that's where it came from, I finished up. Um, and so this is, I think what I brought in, I don't think this is in a project pan, but this is the It Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. Uh, this is like half filled. 
sampled. It's a little sample of it, so I brought this in uh, to use as my eye cream for right now because that makes sense. Um, what did I just do? Concealer. Oh my goodness. This. This I used last week. This is the UOMA, um, the Double Take Sculpt and Stroke Duo Stick in White Purple. So it had the like contour stick on one side and then it had like a little highlight shade on the other side. I bought this on a total whim and I freaking love it. It's such a good cream contour and the highlight shade is so light that it really, oh my god, it's just so, it's so when I went to do my random number generator, because I only have a couple of cream contours, this one came up again for this upcoming two weeks, and I ended up picking out a different one just because I've got so many repeat products in Project Pans. I want to try, I want to use something else, I don't want to keep using the same stuff over and over and over again because that defeats the point, except unless I'm trying to use it up. So, um, I freaking love this though. I'm hoping that, obviously not these two weeks, but the next two weeks this gets chosen again because this was a huge, I'm so impressed by that, you have no idea. But for the next two weeks, I'm going back to the Tristique Color and Contour Cheek Stick in Brazilian Bronze. Honestly, I only have three cream contours. Like, it's going to be the same ones over and over and over again. I really do like this one, though. This is much darker um, than this one is. But I like them both. Like this, oh, they're just, they're so good. They're so good. Okay. For cream highlight, the Marc Jacobs Dew, Dew Drops Coconut Gel Highlighter in Do You. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's like the teensiest little bit left in here. Um, this isn't a project pan currently. It's in my Slaughter Your Samples project pan. That was an amazing catch. Uh, so I'm planning to finish this up. Obviously, I don't think this will last me a full two weeks. So I'm going to use that up. And then I'm going to bring in this. This is the Milk Makeup Holographic Stick in Mars. I feel like I may have used this. I don't even know if you can see that. It's such like a light shade. I feel like I may have used this once or twice, but I'm not 100% sure. It's pretty though. I will give it that. Like it's really pretty. Um, so hopefully that'll work out for me. And there's so much freaking product in this. I got to start using these up because I've had these for a while. Face powder, the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder, waterproof, transparent, in the shade, translucent. I have a massive pan on this. I feel like it had um, like a mini pan when I first started this project. I've got a pretty a decent sized pan going in there. I'm thinking maybe two more cycles of this and it'll be done. Maybe one, but I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I do use a lot of pressed powder though, but I love this. I love this powder so much. This is one of the very few ones that I have a backup for. I hate backups, but this powder is so good and it's so affordable and I happen to catch it on sale and it's even more of like, oh, what a good steal. So I love this and this is going back into my collection for right now, um, but I, I'm so good. Um, and then I'm bringing in the It Cosmetics and Bye Bye Pores Pressed. This is also in translucent, and I also have a little baby pan in there. <laughs> I have so many pans and pressed powders. It's insane. I'm telling you guys, I need to do this video. Um, it Cosmetics, I, I love their powders. They gifted me some of them a few years ago. This one I don't think was gifted to me. If it is, it's like really old. I don't know. I really love their powders, though, and they're really good. So I'm excited to get to use this for the upcoming two weeks. Um, okay. The last couple weeks, I was supposed to use the Balm Batter Up Long Wear Eyeshadow Stick in Slugger as my eye base. I bitched about this in the last video, too. It's so dark. I don't love it. It's just so damn dark. Um, but I do use it. I used up a little bit more, and then halfway through the cycle, I started a new project pan. And in that project pan, I brought in the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion Original. This is a little mini size. Um, this is... I don't even know why I still have this, to be honest with you. I'm probably going to end up decluttering it at some point. I really don't like decluttering products, so I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. But this eyeshadow primer potion is almost gone. Like, there's so much air in here now. There's, like, that much left. I don't even know if you can... Like, this is going to last me maybe another week. Like, if I'm really, really, really careful with it. I don't know. So, I'm going to focus on this for the next two weeks, though. And then I figured, since this probably won't last me the full two weeks, I'm going to bring in something else. This is the the... Air Atelier Eye Primer. Um, I got this in some subscription box. It reminds me a lot of the NARS primer. It's a very light. It's almost like not even there. I've used it a couple times and I've liked it so far. So I'm excited to get to use it a little bit more. Hopefully, depending on how quickly I get to that Urban Decay one. I'm excited to use it a little bit more though. Get some good use out of it. Okay, for eyeliner. Here's the thing. 
Um, so I'm using the same pencil eyeliner. For liquid eyeliner though, um, this is what I was using, the Araceli Perfectos Liquid Eyeliner in Night. Um, I really liked this. This came from a really recent Ipsy. I want to say it was the last month Ipsy. It worked really well though. I really enjoyed this. I started a new project pan where I brought in a mini of the Ico I Do Liquid Liner. That's where I draw the line. Love this. This is starting to go a little dry on me. Don't quite know how long it's going to last, but I do really like it. So, I also started another project pan. Um, well, it's part, you know, I mean, they're all kind of mixed together. I started like two or three new ones. Two, I don't know. A couple new ones. And one of them is um, hashtag panning emotions. And for that, um, one of the emotions was discussed. So I chose a shade out of the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star Conspiracy palette. Um, I'm no longer choosing to support Jeffree Star or Shane Dawson, um, but because I already own the makeup products, I don't want to, my money to go completely to waste. So as of right now, my plan is to try to use them up. So I went ahead and picked a shade in this palette that I want to try to pan. Um, I chose Spiraling. My palette is upside down, but the shade is right here, which is a really, really dark shade. I'm going to try to use it as eyeliner. I've tried to use it as eyeshadow, and honestly, I posted about it on my Instagram stories. I did not like it whatsoever. It was patchy. It didn't blend right. I don't know if it was just like everything else I had going on. I don't know. Did not like it though. No, thank you. So I'm going to try to use it as an eyeliner. This is probably one of my most regretted makeup purchases. I mean, everything from Jeffree Star at this point in time is. But this especially because um, I was so swept up in the hype and this color story. So I'm no longer supporting Jeffree Star or Shane Dawson in case you were curious. Um, you will see his stuff pop up on my channel every once in a while because I am trying to uh, pan it and get rid of it. I, I, eventually. Like, I, I have a lot of his palettes, okay? Oh my god, I feel so dumb. Okay. I also, in another project pan, brought in this, this little Nomad Intense Eyeshadow in Cantushi. Um, this is a mini eyeshadow, but it's so beautiful as a crease shade, so I've been using this um, quite a bit. So I'm going to keep using that. I'm going to keep using my Huda Beauty Neon Lights. And then last week, I brought in the Juvia's Place Saharan Palette. First of all, oh my gosh, I was really excited to use this last week in conjunction with my Huda Beauty Palette. This is so pretty. Like, um, this shade right here, Kia, and then this shade right here, Iman, are, are seriously my two favorite shadows out of this palette, at least for what I've been using them for this week. I almost have a pan and I'm in. The dip is so large. Kia's got a little dip. This palette is so beautiful. But for right now, it is going back into my stash. And then I actually went against the random number generator and I brought in a palette because here's the thing. So I'm still trying to pan this. This is my Pan That palette. This is in the Fifty Shades of Pink Project Pan. This is my focus for this year is the Huda Beauty Neon Pink Obsessions Pressed Pigment Palette. Um, I've done some pretty good jobs. I've gotten rid of a lot of the shimmer shades. Um, this shimmer shade is almost gone. I don't remember when I panned this one, but this one I panned like the 2nd of July. Um, and I, I, I have really good dips in all of the mattes. And I really want to focus more on the mattes now because once these shimmer shades are gone, I like to use those on like the lid or like the inner, whatever. Once those shimmer shades are gone, I've got a couple of like ColourPop singles. I've got a cream shadow that I can use. Oh, and that also has not changed. Cover FX, Shimmer Veil, and Amethyst, still using that. But I've got some other things that I can use as shimmers, so I really wanted to bring in something that could be like a companion palette to this, okay? So I decided to bring in Urban Decay Naked. This is, at this point in time, probably my oldest palette. Um, one of my oldest palettes. Maybe not my oldest, actually, because I've got a couple of really old Urban Decay ones. But it's old, okay? It's freaking old. So my goal is, this is probably going to be one of the next palettes that I try to use up. So I figured I could get some nice neutral shades to kind of go with these bright ass matte shades. I don't know yet. I'm going to play around with it. But I'm going to try to get a, a good amount of use out of this while I finish panning this. I don't know if I'm going to keep this in until this is gone. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I haven't decided yet. Um, but at least, for, at the very least, for the next two weeks, I'm focusing on this as my companion palette for my Huda Beauty. I'm excited about it, you guys. I'm so excited about it. Okay. For lip liner. Are we moving on to lips now? Yes? Okay. For lip liner or lip primer or whatever you want to call it, um, last 
week, last cycle, I was using a Bite Beauty mini lip liner. I finished that up so that I grabbed the Pixi lip contour liner. Um, I, I love this liner. I have no idea how much is left of this. I have several of these um, and I just they're so good. I freaking love them. Um, this week I'm going to be focusing on the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in Bare to Comment, which is a really nice neutral, but it's more on the pinkier side, which I'm thinking is going to be good because that kind of matches up with a lot of the lip products that I have. So for lip products, I'm keeping all the old ones that I told you guys about. I am adding in a couple of new ones from various project pans. So once again, my goal is to try to use up all these lip products. Not all of them by the end of the year, but whew, I'm setting myself up for failure here. So I'm adding in the Sugar Rush by Tarte Sugar Coat Cake Pop Velvet Liquid Lipstick, a little mini of it. I'm adding in the Redial Dragon's Blood XXL Lip Plumper. I'm adding in a mini Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Moon Jelly. And then I'm adding in a mini Tristique Mini Lip Glaze in Shell Beach Sheer, which is, you know, okay. And then we've got two more things to talk about really quick. Uh, mascaras. I don't remember what mascaras I had last time. Mascaras, I kind of just cycle through. I'm trying to use up a lot of my stash. I'm adding in the Blink Black Lash Primer that came in boxy, I think, last month. Just because I don't typically use lash primers. I don't really want this hanging around my collection very long. Um, so I just want to use that and get that out of here. And then these are the mascaras I'm currently focusing on. I feel like the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume is what I had going on last week. I don't remember if I had already added in a mini Too Faced Better Than Sex. And then this is stupid. I moved my mascara drawer. Um, I did like this whole drawer reorganizing organizing thing. I have a video coming on it soon. And this mini Tarte Lights Camera Lashes ended up on my desk. And it just kind of went into my weekly makeup basket. So now it's a part of it. So I'm working on those three various stages. I'm just using them until they get like goopy and flaky. Okay, and then last but not least, so I'm using the uh, Morphe and Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist in Starberry. Once again, don't support him. I already have it. I'm trying to use it up. Um, this was already in my Fifty Shades of Pink project pan. I'll be honest with you, I don't like this very much. The scent of it is so fake smelling. Like, it just smells like sugar, which, like, it's nice, but it's not what I expected. I don't know. Um, and the Continuous Mist, I feel like I have to use so much of this to get, like, a, an even coating on my face. I don't, I don't know. I don't think that I like the Continuous Mist ones, which sucks because I have, like, two of the regular Morphe ones. Um, I don't know. But I, I'm trying to use this up. This is, like, it feels a lot lighter than it used to, so I'm thinking we're almost there. And then in another little project pad, I added in this little, this is .33 fluid ounces. It is the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. Um, I've been using this for a few days now, and I've used about half of it up. So I'm expecting to hopefully get through this in the next two weeks if I can get through both of these. Because like I said, I'm guesstimating how much I have left in here, but I know it's not a whole lot. If I can get through both of these, that would be amazing. So hopefully, hopefully. Okay, that's my weekly makeup basket. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, please make sure you leave your opinions in the comments down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button if you'd like to see more of me. And let me know what you are using in your weekly makeup basket. Um, let me know if you are still supporting like Morphe as a whole because I know now they're kind of on everybody's shit list. Um, and I don't quite know... I don't know a whole lot of the details about that, so I need to do some more research for sure. But let me know your thoughts and feelings on the whole situation going on. And I will chat with you guys later. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great one. Bye.